Alright everyone, welcome to another video. Sorry if I'm kind of quiet, I'm recording this at like 1am in the morning. But uh, today I'm going to be going over 5 tips and tricks that will actually just make you better at Murder Mystery 2. Now these aren't jukes, these just are regular tips that you should just keep in mind while playing the game. Anyway, let's get to uh, tip number 1. The tip, oh yeah I'm dead. But tip number 1 is I'd recommend that see this switch right here. Usually it can be annoying to flip off this switch, but like if you want to get better at the game I'd recommend flipping that off so uh, you're not distracted by trades But if you are interested in trading whoa Whoa Whoa, okay This off I recommend just trading when you're in the lobby But yeah, and also like kind of close this many thing the second tip I have for you guys is just to play the game casually. So like, don't sweat it because like, the more you play it casually, the better you'll get over time at it. So like, don't like go full on sweat mode. Just like, go casually so that way like, when you're not even trying, you'll just be good at the game. But keep in mind, this will definitely take practice and time, both of those. There we go. I wasn't even trying. You can see with that shot, I kind of predicted where he was going to go, which leads on to our third tip, which is predicting. So whether you're throwing the knife as the murderer or um, shooting um, shooting as the sheriff, uh, predicting comes into play. So you can't just aimlessly throw it at the player because they could just obviously dodge your shot. So that's when predicting comes into play. So, as you can see, the trend of what he was doing is he was going side to side, so he's charging up his knife and then throwing. So I timed it, when he came out, I shot him. So yeah, uh, like guessing where they go or predicting where they go also takes a little bit of timing. All right. So fourth tip I have for you guys is don't spam jump. Okay, spam jumping is very bad. But don't go walk in a straight line either because you'll get shot as the murderer. Because if you spam jump, if if they're a good timer, they could just easily shoot you, so it does nothing. What I recommend is what the dude did, but like, except don't make it so predictable. So get behind the wall, charge up your knife, and throw it. And when they're off guard, go from the side and stab them right here. This tip can honestly, like, it, it, I know you can't really control it, but anger. Like, I know... Like, I have anger issues, I know just stuff autistic people have, like me, but, uh, the thing is, you don't want to give up, like, you don't want to be like, oh, you, you died, you don't want to, like, rage quit, you know, you're, you, you have to kind of, like, cope with it, so, like, if you die, you could, like, scream, but just, like, don't give up, you know what I'm saying, so, like, you know. So if I only kill one innocent, innocent and then get shot, sure I'll be mad, but like I'm not gonna leave the server and just like take a break because that's not gonna help you if you wanna get better at the game. That's gonna be it for today's video. If this helped or if you just enjoyed in general, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.